I love you, man. Shit, come on. The show. Yeah, yeah, I. Yeah, yeah, Hey. See me, I'm a legend in these streets, yeah. Streets, boy. If you need some game to come to me, yeah. Watch this turn, y'all boys to man, y'all y'all gon' see, yeah. Help them get some money, build their legacy, yeah. Whoa, see me, I'm a legend in these streets, yeah. If you need some game to come to me, yeah. Watch this turn, y'all boys to man, yeah, you gon' see, yeah. Help them build some money, build their legacy, yeah. Ayy, said it's the gas station show, yeah. Whoa, we got that gas for you, so, yeah. Ayy, you need some game, this where you go, ayy. Whoa, you need some game, this where you go, ayy. We're not new to this, we've been true to this. We pulling out the slabs, just the lane switch. When them boys get mad, they get dangerous. Look, homie, watch your bats, don't miss your angles. Said it's the gas station show, ayy. Oh, we got the gas for your soul, yeah. hey. Oh, said. Welcome to the Gas Station Podcast. I'm filming live from the Dominican Republic right now. What's happening, everybody? What's going on? What's up, Seth? I see you in the building. Yeah. Today is uh, Relationship Friday, and we're going to talk a little bit about relationships. And today we're going to be talking about relationships uh, with these children. What's up, bro? What's happening with you, man? What's happening with you, man? Just chilling, man. Just early morning, you know. Just sipping my coffee. Gonna talk about relationship Friday on uh, the gas station podcast. I got y'all live on Instagram. I got y'all live on uh, my YouTube channel, and I got, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing a little blogging too while I'm down here in the Dominican. And uh, so I'm probably I'm gonna go shoot to the beach later on today. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm probably gonna, gonna pull my old selfie stick out and uh, be filming from the beach and let y'all see the beach, the beach life down here in the Dominican. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking relationship Friday the other day, man. It's uh, very crucial, man. We start uh, developing these relationships with our kids. So today we're gonna be talking about the relationship with our children. I've been getting a lot of messages. From last week when I was on, on uh, Relationship Friday And I was talking about the kids And since I, since I was talking about the kids last week I done received several Several messages About uh, uh, These children today and how they behaving And so uh yeah, I wanted to, uh, I got a couple videos, man, I want to show y'all real quick and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it, man. We're discussing these children, man, they're getting a little outrageous, these children, man, they getting a little outrageous, man. We gonna, I'm going to uh, shoot this, hold on right quick. Come on. Send this video to you. One second, if I can get it down, I'm a legend up. in these streets, yeah. Streets, boy. If you need some game to come to me, yeah. Watch this turn, y'all boys to man, y'all y'all gon' see, yeah. Help them get some money, build their legacy, yeah. Whoa, see me, I'm a now, legend. Now, man, I'm reading. Hold on, let me see if I can get it down. Watch this turn, y'all boys to man, y'all gon' see, yeah. Help them get some money, build their legacy, hey. Hey, said it's the gas station show. That was a substitute teacher jumping on the kid's ass in, uh, in, in school, man, because these kids are getting outrageous, man. I'm trying to get this other video up. It's not allowing me with a, with a girl down there in Mount, in uh, Rocky Mount. And now I guess I guess they got that video off, off the Instagram, off there. But y'all know that's the one with the girl in Rocky Mount. 
she ended up kicking the girl's ass, kicking the little girl's the student's ass over the uh, over the uh, over the cell phone. What's up, Viv? What's up, bro? What's up, Missy? What's happening, everybody? I'm on with my live, man. I'm 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 gonna report down here live in the Dominican Republic, drinking some of this old Dominican kick coffee, man. Doing an early morning live about uh, actually the subject and the topic me and you talked about. And you know this relationship Fridays on uh on, on, on the gas station podcast. And so what we talk what I'm talking about today is be a parent to these kids, man, on relationship Friday. The, one of the most important relationships we're gonna have is that relationship that we develop with these children. And I got three areas, you know, I like to talk about three. Those are powerful number three, seven, and ten. You know what I'm saying? I mean, three is divine, seven is complete, and ten is divine completion. So those are always the numbers that I try to talk about when I uh when I when I when I touch a topic. And so I got uh I got three areas that we're gonna touch today with uh with with these children on relationship Friday because I believe that this, our relationship with our children uh not only how that is our greatest example as a leader. Everybody wanna claim, oh I'm a leader, I'm a leader, I'm a leader. Well your greatest example as a leader is how you bring your children up. Those are your students. Those are your followers. Those are the ones who are going to emulate you when you grow, as they grow up and as they develop and as they get themselves together. Your children are a direct example of your leadership. And so all of us, that's where I tell everybody, man, I'm a follower probably more than I'm a leader because I'm constantly learning. I'm learning how to be a relationship with my child. I'm learning how to discipline my child. I'm learning how to 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 grow with my children as a father. You understand me? And I need help. And so you know, here in the gas station, we pouring into each other. You know what I'm saying? As always, you know what I'm saying. And you realize how how much of a manager leader you are by how not only you develop your employee, but it develop your your. Uh, your children also develop and follow what they follow you. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? All of these things are important, you understand me, in developing your relationship with in, uh, with your children. So, you know, this relationship Friday. So, this Friday, man, they've been having a lot of shit jumping off with these children. And so, you know what I'm saying? So, so we're going we gonna to talk about relationship Friday. I'm going uh, to show y'all one more video real quick. You know, because these children... Today, we're getting a little crazy, man. And so, you know, we got to uh, we got to reel our children back in because they are future. Guess what? They are going to be the ones who are going to not only take care of us, and also those are the ones that we're going to be handing the baton off to when they get adults. So if you don't have your children together, guess what? Uh, shit, they're going to be fucked up, and you're going to hand your children, you're going to hand the baton off to, to, to a sorry lady, son of a bitch. So here go another one more video I'm gonna show y'all. If you need some game, just come to me. Watch this again. Watch this turn. Your boys are man, y'all gonna see. Oh, let me get the vibe. They gonna get some money, build their legacy. Too frequently. Too frequently, it keeps occurring. Yeah. Say it one, don't say nothing. That it has to be said. Oh, because it keep happening too frequently. Too frequently, it keeps occurring. Y'all children. Getting slammed on their head by these teachers is y'all fault. Okay. Because you failed as a parent. You, as a parent, has failed to discipline your child. They got out into the world and found out that people don't play with them like you play with them at home. Because you let your child talk to you any kind of way, they think they can get out in the world and talk to adults any kind of way. When you don't discipline your children, the world gonna discipline them. Who else gonna do it? Who else can do it? And what I know is substitute teachers are not the one. They not the one, they not the two. They barely even teach We don't know if these folks is coming from rehab, if they got them out the street, if they volunteers. We don't know who these people are that substitute teachers. All we know is these are people that's getting paid to watch your children for a few minutes. Why? Because all they got is a few minutes to make a little extra money. 
And they used to want to let me out children, I'm mad. Hey, said this Cause that's what they need to be. Yeah. These big burly children so thinking they can talk to people in any kind of way, do what they can hey. do whatever they want to do. They out of order. Hey. And they out of order because of you. And your lack of parenting. Your lack of parenting. It's your fault. Now you want to be outraged and start a, a lawsuit and sue the school district and this and that. Look in the mirror. It's your fault. Because you failed to discipline your child. They think they can uh, try to intimidate an adult. Try to threaten an adult. If you need some game, just come to me. That substitute teacher didn't even have no underwear on. That's how much she didn't care. That's how much she almost didn't make it. She, she didn't put no underwear on. So she didn't care. So you think she gonna have a little restraint when your daughter who thinks she grown come bucking? Come knocking and bucking? Hey, we got that gas for you, so. No. Hey, it's the gas that she treated her like some bad off the street, cause why? She was acting like some bad off the street. Feel for yourself, hey. Well, we got the feel. When you act wrong, wrong things happen to you. Gas that she showed, yeah. When you act like a dog, folks treat you like an adult. That's why people always tell you gotta stay in a child's place. Why? Because it's safe there. There's some grace there. There's some protection there. There's some provision there. There's some compassion there. There's some nurturing there. See me, I'm a legend in these There's a little bit of love there. Need some game to come to me. A little bit of understanding there. What's the man y'all y'all gonna see? Yeah. Help them get some money, build their legacy. Yeah. When you try to act wrong, you get drugged. Yeah. When you try to act wrong, you get a knot upside your head. When you try to get drunk, be wrong, you get minus one. Yeah. When you try to act be wrong, you get slapped in the face. When you try to act wrong, you get beat up. Yeah. Yeah. I done said a lot of folks yeah. get slapped. Yeah. You get slapped yeah. when you yeah. try to be wrong. Hey. Need some games where you go. Stay in a child's place. You need some games where you go. Hey. Cause it's grace yeah. there and safety yeah. there. We've been true to this. Hey. 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 Parents are hey. cheers. Hey. When them boys get mad. Discipline your cheers. Hey. So they don't mess around and find out that the world ain't gonna play with them hey. like you play with them. Got the gas, but yeah. so. Be a parent. Oh. Said it's the gas. And parents are cheers. We got that gas for you, so I see me, I'm a legend. All right, y'all. All right, man. It's Relationship Friday, man. She said a lot. She said a mouthful. I hope y'all were listening, man. I hope y'all were listening, man. Back to the relationship. We talking on Relationship Friday and the gas station. We got to pour in each other, man. Each children, man. And it ain't even the only the schools or the substitute teachers. It's about you to now. You can't take these children over your mama house and your daddy house. No more. See, when we was growing up, we used to go to my grandma house, big mama house. You understand me? Now, they don't even want to watch it. It's because, why these children? Because these children are so outrageous. And these children have no accountability besides with you, the parent. I just was watching a video the other day about the white boy. He got there and the white boy called the police on his mama because she whooped his ass. And then the police jumped on his, don't know the police, don't know the kids. That man was beautiful. Man, but anyway, because these children are getting outrageous. So you understand me? So we're going to talk about today on, on the gas station podcast. We're going to talk about today on the gas station burger on Relationship Friday. The relationship we have with our children. And hey, if you can work on this, this is the perfect practice ground for you to make you some money because how you de develop your subordinates how you develop your subordinates your child up under you is also how you going to develop your employee the people who are up under you the people God had you steward with amongst other things you understand me the people you make money with you're going to learn how to manage and cultivate and build those relationships up too so it's important. So all of this works together for the good. The starting point for all success starts in the home. Starts in the home. How you take care of your home. How you take care 
your, your, your family, how you take care of things around you, how you prioritize, you feel me? Yeah, she made some strong points, bro. Yeah, she made some strong points, man. You understand me? And these children have to know. So, you know, we're going to touch on the three things, you feel me? Like I always, man, I'm in the Dominican Republic right now. I'm going to do a little vlogging later on, y'all. And uh, you know, you know how I kick it, man. So I, like I told y'all, man, we're gonna start. I'm, I'm, I'm always in other countries. I just, you know, what I'm saying, I just don't sit in America. You understand me? So when I'm in other countries, I'm gonna start blogging and and uh, just letting y'all see, you know, what I do when I'm out the country. Also, on top of, I'm still gonna be coming with my content. I've been off a couple of days because I've been trying to get myself situated. I'm staying in a new area, a new place that I'm trying to get familiar with. So. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm uh, I, I had to get myself in order, but you know what I'm saying. But I couldn't, I couldn't leave the people waiting no more, man, because I know that we got some good stuff going on, and we building, we building this community, we building the gas station community, we building the Legacy Moves community. And when I get back, I'm finna start developing this merch for y'all, so I'm gonna be able to put that together, so we can, uh, so everybody who repping Legacy Moves will be able to rep the merch also. All right, all right, all right. Let's go into number one. Let me find the mother. Yeah, let me find it. I lost it, but let me find it because I was watching. We was watching videos. But uh, we're gonna on relationship Friday about these children. We're gonna talk about. I got I got three points. I want to. Three points we're gonna touch on. Then we're gonna. Get out of here then later on in the day I'ma do a little blogging on the uh with my selfie stick. I bought me a selfie stick so I'll be able to walk around, man, like these like 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 like, like these guys, man, and show y'all different countries, man. I'm in a different country right now, so I'm gonna be able to show that to y'all later on. You know what I'm saying? But the first the first number one on the list on relationship Friday is don't be a friend to your children. Don't be a friend to them kids, man. The worst thing you can do to your child is try to be their buddy. It's try to be their buddy, man. Them kids don't need no buddy. They gonna get a whole bunch of buddies to school. They gonna get a whole bunch of buddies uh, out in the streets. They gonna get a whole bunch of buddies who are uh, trying to convince them to be on their agenda and do what they doing and have fun and get into a bunch of bullshit amongst other things. Because kids don't know no better. So kids don't want to have fun, feel good, and, and, and taste good. Everything that tastes good, feel good, and is fun, that's all kids want to do. And kids need structure as a child, especially in those early adolescent stage from one to five, and I know it's tough because you want to kiss on them, love on them, but I'm the same way. You understand me? From one to five, man, those are the kid, children, well, people, period, learn more from one to five than they will learn their entire life. That's where you learn to run, that's where you learn to think, that's where you learn to dress, that's where you learn to pee, that's where you learn to shit, you understand me? That's where you learn to play, that's where you learn to jump, that's where you learn to dribble the ball, that's where you learn your speech, your language, that's where you learn who you are as an individual, you understand me? You know, all of these things are important, man. And and, and, and and so from one to five, you got, if you set your child in order from one to five, and then it's gonna be a lot easier to rid, rid them older. Once they get about 12 years old, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of countries, they can bar mitzvahs amongst other things because in, back in the olden days, at 12 years old, you were considered as an adult. So children know exactly who they are. They ain't trying to hear that. Then at 12 years old, you, you got to be giving these kids some game. You understand me? But from one to 12, you're one about 10 years old to 12 years old, you, you got an opportunity with these kids. And so you cannot be these children's friend from, from, from those early ages. You have to develop these children, develop solid habits in these children. And it's a lot easier to be tough and lighten up than it is to lighten it up and then try to be tough later. Cause they not gonna listen to that bullshit once you trying to be tough later, once you got, once they become unruly and out of hand. 
You understand me? Then not only on top of that, as an adult, and you need to do something, you destroy your alliance as a parent because nobody else is going to come in an alliance with them badass children you have developed. Nobody's going to want to help you with those children, or badly want to help you with those children. You understand me? If they get paid or they get compensated, you understand me? Because those children are so unruly. You understand me? So you want so you cannot be those children's friend at an early age. These children need to be children and these children need to be trained and developed properly. Because as an adult and as you trying to build your way up the ladder with children, you have to have uh, uh, you have to build an alliance with your community, with your school, or with your teachers, with your with your parents. With your cousins and sisters and brothers. But if you got these fucked up children, ain't nobody gonna wanna fuck with them. Even the father. Unfortunately. And then you'll blame the father that he's a badass father. No, he's not a badass father. You just raising some fucked up children and so shit. He can't tolerate he can't even tolerate them for but so long. So let's work with the father. Let's not be in in competition or in, in battle with the father, let's start working with them so y'all can develop good children where y'all can work together with these children. You understand me? Not everything, you know, we get it that you, that the mothers have the majority of the child, but you understand me? But if you raise the fucked up children, even the father's not gonna want to be around those children. So you got to get children together. So these children, and you got to be able to build alliance with other people so they can also help you develop these children. That's that village mentality we used to have. Now the mothers today, they want to jump on the teachers. They think the teacher wrong. They think the neighbor wrong for saying something to the child. You know, the, the, the child come in and his feelings were hurt. You understand me? And, and, and so you ready to jump down somebody else's throat about a child's feelings being hurt. And that leads us into number two. That leads us into number two. That leads us into number which is very important. You understand me? So don't be a friend to your child. Be a parent to your child. Be a teacher to your child. Be a good guy, a good leader to your child. Teach your child how to develop to develop themselves. And then guess what? You're gonna have a good child as they growing up. Number two. Number two. The child. Listen to it. A lot of y'all ain't gonna agree with this. But this is my favorite thing. I always say this. The child is always wrong. The adult is right. All the time. Unless, you know, some outrageous life. This child was being molested or. Or some 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 just outrageous stuff. I'm just talking about on normal everyday behavior. The child is always wrong. The parent, the, the, the adult is always right. Because let me tell y'all something. A child don't know right from wrong. First of all, a child don't know. Right and I don't care what nobody say. A child don't know right from wrong. A child knows what feels good, what smells good, and tastes good. And anytime you tell a child no, a child is offended. A child is offended. And with that being said, a child don't know what is good for him or what's not good for him because he that he hasn't seen anything, he hasn't experienced anything. Yet to know right from wrong. So he had to develop that skill. All he knows is what he wants or what he needs, what he think he needs or what feels good, smells good or tastes good to that child. You understand me? Or what he sees on television or what he sees, what, what his visual, what his visual tells him. You understand me? So you have, so I am a big advocate that the parent is right. Nine times out of ten, I'm a big advocate. The teacher's right because guess what? That teacher sits in there with 
20 or 30 different children, 15, 10, I don't give a damn how many children you get, but different attitudes, different upbringings, different, different hygiene, different clothes on, where this child is being made fun of, this child, you know, it's, it's all kind of stuff where these child are going to be, these children are going to be unruly all goddamn day. And so, a teacher is wonderful because she had to learn how to manage these children, all these bad motherfuckers. And so, you have no right to go to, even the second is this, this, your child. This this teacher been dealing with all these bad motherfuckers all day. And she, he made a bad decision with your child because guess what? He he's fed up with all these motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers, and, and your child just was the 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 the, 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 the knife in the coffin. Guess what? Allow that teacher some grace because guess what? All those children were probably being unruly all day, and this teacher has to figure out how. To, now you, now as as an adult, now just imagine you dealing with twenty or thirty grown folks that are half as mature. Now you dealing with thirty, twenty or thirty children that ain't got no maturity whatsoever, and all they want to do is have fun. Guess what? It's gonna be a sacrificial lamb every now and then. It's gonna be a sacrificial lamb. Every now and then. That's what happens. That's our part. That's our part. Because these children are raised uh, from, from, from a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different homes, uh, undisciplined, disciplined, spoiled, brats, uh, over abused. This is all kind of shit that happens with these children that these teachers have to have to tend to all day. And guess who has your child all day? These teachers. You don't. And when you get them for 20 or 30 minutes or an hour or two hours a day over the weekend, you ready to send their ass back to school because you sick of their ass too. And you know you sick of Because they don't know how to behave. And you're not making them behave as parents. So the teacher, the adult in the community is always right. And see, we grew up in a time like that when that village was 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 right where your next door neighbor, your you know what I'm saying, the people in the community, the people in the store can say something to your child when your child is acting up. Now we don't have that anymore. And we wonder why society is going so rampant and outrageous. And we wonder why these kids are doing what they the fuck they doing now because they have no accountability outside of the mother. The father can't say nothing to him with or the mama think you wrong. Or, or, and so the, the children even get to manipulate the home today because of uh, the, the, the separation of the family. And so, like I say, man, Relationship Fridays, Gas Station Radio, man, hey man, the children are always wrong. And anybody who has a disagree with me, I don't give a fuck, the children are wrong, the, the adult is right. Because the adult is the authority in that moment and allow that adult to organize his stuff. And guess what? Everybody ain't gonna like what you got going on when you have a multitude of people. Unfortunately, everybody ain't gonna like it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're going on number three. We're going on number three in the gas station, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to Legacy Moves, man. You know, we live from the Dominican Republic. I ain't gonna never let y'all down. I'm always gonna bring the real to the people. You understand me? And, uh, and, you know, I meditate on this stuff. I pray on this stuff. And I thank God for giving me a word, a voice, where I can speak to the people, man. And so, you understand me? Number three, number three, number three, number three. This is controversial as fuck because I know everybody's not going to agree with me. But this relationship Friday, we need to get a hold of our children. We need to reel our children back in because if we don't, if we don't get that community back in our children, if we don't get that village back in our children, we are going to be fucked up, y'all. Society is actually working to make the children the head. Oh, man, come on, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So we got to break that shit up, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish we could bring the motherfucking belts back, man. I wish we could bring the belts back. 
You understand me? God said she is fat or hard. God damn me, the kids gonna be fucked about it. I'm uh, he just say things like that, but that's the way I'm putting it. But anyway, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, number three, number three, number three, number three. Love your child, don't buy your child. Love your child, don't buy your child, man. We too busy trying to buy children love instead of loving on them, man. We too busy trying to buy children love instead of loving on them. And that's how we... Well, oh, we talking about on Relationship Friday, man. Tim, what's up? Why? Wow, what's happening? Which we talking about uh, on Relationship Friday? We talking about the relationship what we have with these kids, and and uh, we talking about three points about developing our children, and we talking about relationship and how our children are our responsibility as an adult, as, as parents, and how we train our children as leaders is how we train our employees, how we train everybody. Our children are a reflection of us and how we are going to become successful because everybody claims leader, leader, leader. Hey man, the perfect practice ground is our children. How are we leading our children? How are we disciplining our children? How are we really raising our children? You understand me? So everybody who wants this leader role, and oh, nigga, I ain't no father. I'm a, I'm a leader. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But guess what? Guess what? We got that gas for your soul. Your children are the best example of your leadership. If you need some your children are the best example of your leadership. So, you know what I'm saying? Because leadership, leadership starts in the home. Well, the second place leadership starts is in the home. But leadership really starts at becoming, being a good follower to become a good leader. Being a good student to become a good teacher. It's impossible to become a good teacher without being a good student first. And it's impossible to be a good follower, good leader without being a good follower first. And then... You can always check. See, it's a checking mechanism for your leadership. All you have to do is look at your followers. Who you got following you? Who are you influencing? Everybody wants to be a leader. Oh, nigga, I'm a leader. Nigga, I'm a leader. What kind of, what kind of leading is you doing? What kind of leading is you doing? All you have to do is, uh, you can check your leadership ability by looking at your children, looking at your employees. Who is following you? Why are they following you? See, it's, it's a difference from people following you and people hanging around you because you feed them. Feeding them weed, feeding them dope. Feeding them stupid shit, feeding them foolishness. Feeding them dummy moves, you know, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Feeding them dummy moves, you feel me? So, 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 it's a difference. It's a difference. So you can always double check and see if you're really a leader by if you got some followers and who's following you and how you are training and raising up the people who are following you. So we're gonna get get back on the subject, man. Number three, number three, cause we get this, we had to mark number three. Love your children. Don't buy your children. Buy them clothes, buy them this, buy them pacifiers. Ain't nothing but pacifiers. Buy them shit ain't gonna hang. That ain't that ain't, that ain't love them. Love them is, is preparing them, teaching them how to fish, not giving them a fish. When you buy their love, you're giving them a fish. When you really love them, you're teaching them how to fish so they don't need you to buy them a fish. They don't need no the world to buy them no fish. They don't need nobody else to buy them. They don't need no woman to buy them no fish. They don't need no nigga, no man to buy them no fish. So they got to sell their soul for another motherfucker to give them a fish. They know how to fish themselves. They know how to get out here and make it themselves because you train them properly. You train them properly, man. Come on, they're the rewards and the entitlement. Exactly, exactly. They think you owe them something. They think you owe them something. 
That's what you do when your body love. They become rewarded. They, that's exact, Tim. Boy, you hit it on the nose, boy. Hey, man, you gave them a black eye with that one. A lot of people upset with you because they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear about that entitlement because they think you already own something. They think you own the world. They think you own this. They think you own that. They think you should do it because you're their daddy or you're their man or you're or whoever the fuck you. No, I shouldn't do shit. I should do what the fuck I'm doing. You understand me? Because I'm going to train you how to fish. And guess what we're going to do? Guess what you do when you train them how to fish? Now, you don't just train them one time, take them to the dead and throw the reel out one time. You keep them fishing. You keep them practicing till they become excellent at fishing. You don't just take them one time to go fishing and say, hey, man, I trained you how to fish. You know how we do? We take them one time to go to goddamn fish. I trained you how to fish. No, you didn't. You took me one motherfucking time to the goddamn me uh, late. Goddamn, I caught I, I call a minnow, and now you talking about you done train me out of goddamn fish. No. Teach your children. Train them up. Train them up. Love your child. Don't try to buy it. Teach them. Train them. Build them. You're going to make better. You're going to make a better community. You're going to make a better place. You're going to make a better life for yourself. And you're going to make a better life for others. You understand? And this, if you really want to be a leader, if you really want to get some money, you practice at home developing your skills. Of leadership, you develop your skill. That, I'm not telling you to be no goddamn dictator or no fucking sorry ass you. I'm telling you, develop your leadership skills through your family, through your wife, through your loved one, through your family, through your through your children. You understand me? And that is how you understand me. Then we get these children, so when they get out with these teachers, they not getting their goddamn ass kicked by these goddamn teachers or motherfuckers that don't want to actually involve them in something that is substantial because you have trained and built your children up. Man, we talking on Relationship Friday, man. It's Lexi Move, man. Y'all make sure y'all also go to my YouTube channel, y'all subscribe, like, man. I'm, I'm, I'm putting out y'all. I'll be blogging later on, man. You probably, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a blog a little bit later on. On the ground, you understand me? Or on, on Facebook, you know, you know, let y'all see what's going on in the Dominican Republic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the beach and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll be all over the country. I'll be uh, I'm in San Domingo right now. I'll be in, in Santiago, and then I'll be over in Port of Plata for a little couple of days. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch base on every vibe. I'm gonna try to get my, get my podcast in as much as I possibly can. You know, I'm getting acclimated to start doing my podcast out the country, and so uh, I'll be down here for two weeks. So yeah, man, y'all, hey man, relationship Friday, man. I love y'all. Thank you everybody for tuning in, man. Let's keep it. Let's keep it one thousand. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 take care of the people. Let's let's take care of our children, man. You understand? Let's start raising our children. Let's let's not have let let's not let society, community, and families. You know what I'm saying? Not want to fuck with our children because as parents, we doing our children a disservice because we trying to place them they bad ass off on somebody else versus them. Building them up ourselves, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be in Austin next month, too. Uh, so I touch base with y'all, man. I'll be over at Midtown in my partner club, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's about the club, so, you know, I got to come over there and fuck with y'all, man. Hey, man. Relationship Friday, man. Tim, uh, uh, Misty, uh, uh, Viv, uh, everybody who tuned in. Trent, man, my little cousin. Uh, everybody who tuned in today on uh, Relationship Friday, man. Blessings, you know I love the shit out of all of y'all, man. You know, we building up a legacy community, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to build no father. I'm trying to build a community, man, of people who want to do better, who try to grow, and who trying try to be, man. It's that legacy moves, man. I ain't doing nothing but legacy moves. We're going to get us some money together. You understand me? Because I talk about money. I talk about uh, relationships. I talk about, you know, just self-development, self-help, man. And everything I'm doing is to give you a... 
complete wealth, complete success, not just successful over here and fucked up over here. We're going to be successful in all areas of our life. Amen. All right, man, y'all peace out, man. I'm going to go out here to this beach and have me a ball, man. And then, like I said, I'll tap in uh, with my new self at the beach, man. Hey, okay, peace. Said it's the gas that's your show, hey. Whoa, we got the gas for your soul.